Perry, Hudson, and Lake meet on the Nordson Academic Challenge. Welcome to the Nordson Academic Challenge. And now, here's your host from News 5, Rob Powers. Hi everybody, I'm Rob Powers. Welcome to the Nordson Academic Challenge. The challenge today, very simple. These three teams compete for points by answering questions covering math, science, history, and other topics. First, let's look at the team standings right now because the top five scoring teams this season will share in a total of $20,000 in grant money from Nordson. The top three scoring teams will then return for our championship finale and compete for a top grant of $6,000 for their school. We're going to get started now with our opening match. It's the lightning round. In this round, all three teams compete. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We subtract 10 points for an incorrect or no answer. We start each team with 100 points. Teams, are we ready to go? All right, let's do this. Don't break that glass. Question number one, this colored glass is often used in church windows. Lake. Stained. Stained glass is the correct answer. Most glass contains a dioxide of this element with atomic number 14 and symbol SI. Perry. Silicon. Silicon is the correct answer. This figurative glass barrier hinders women and minority business. Hudson. Glass ceiling. Glass ceiling is the correct answer. This type of sand filled glass was once used to measure time. Hudson. Hourglass. Hourglass is the correct answer. The glass mountains are in this second largest U.S. state. Perry. Texas. Texas is the correct answer. This American patriot invented bifocal glasses. Lake. Benjamin Franklin. Yes, that is the correct answer. It's still the correct answer. This type of glass is in the title of a Lewis Carroll novel. Lake. Looking glass. The looking glass is correct. He created characters like the Glass family and Holden Caulfield. Lake. J.D. Salinger. That is correct. She was given a pair of glass slippers by her fairy godmother, Lake. Cinderella. Cinderella is the correct answer. And for our final lightning round question, we go to Kelly Notario Scheiber from the Cleveland Museum of Art. Opening February 17th here at the Cleveland Museum of Art is an exciting exhibition featuring fabrics, ceramics, and glass from what largest Scandinavian country whose capital is Stockholm? Lake. Sweden. Sweden is the correct answer, and that's the end of our round. We'll be right back with more Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Nordson is pleased to sponsor Academic Challenge. As a premier global industrial technology company, our products are used in everything from automobiles to electronics to medical devices. At Nordson, we have been giving back to communities for 30 years. We support educational programs that teach students from preschool through high school about science, technology, engineering, and math and we offer scholarships in these fields. At Nordson, we thrive and grow because we innovate. We need you, the best minds of Northeast Ohio, innovating here. Good luck to all of the participants. Today's judge from Cuyahoga Community College is Community Relations Manager, Erica Bell. Erica, welcome, and welcome you back to Nordson Academic Challenge. Time now to get back underway with our hot picks. One at a time, I'll ask each team eight questions. A correct response in this round is worth 20 points. There's no penalty for a wrong answer, and any team answering all eight questions correctly will receive 25 bonus points. First team up, from Perry. Perry offers a strong academic program, which includes dual credit AP and numerous career tech classes, along with a diverse range of extracurricular activities. And to pick your questions, we go to Sean from Hudson. Sean, one through four, which one would you like? Two. Two, number two. All right, let's remember here, these questions are only for you. Set, here we go. Writing what he called logical insanity was a goal of what author, whose amusing characters include the Grinch and Horton the Elephant? Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss is correct. The Industrial Revolution came to America in 1790 when Samuel Slater opened a cotton mill in what smallest state? Rhode Island. Rhode Island is the correct answer. Under the Endangered Species Act, it is illegal for U.S. citizens to sell the fur of what striped jungle felines whose varieties include Bengal and Siberian? Tiger. Tiger is correct. Now, for your science question, take a look at the monitor. 
When an acid and a base are mixed in a beaker, the beaker becomes very hot. This neutralization reaction can be described as which of these? Exothermic. Exothermic is the correct answer. A noted breeding ground for seals, the Pribilof Islands are north of what island chain that extends west from Alaska for about 1,200 miles? The Bering Islands. The Aleutian Islands is what we're looking for there. In his wanderings, Homer's Odysseus met a number of dangerous characters, including what sorceress who turned men into pigs? No answer. Circe is what we're looking for there. All right, for your math question, take a look at the monitor here. If one factor of this quadratic equation is x plus 2, what is the other factor? x minus 7. x minus 7 is the correct answer. When Kaiser Wilhelm I became head of the new German Empire in 1871, what 18th U.S. president was then in office? Abraham Lincoln, or Grant. Grant, need a judgment here. Go with Grant. Correct. All right. That's done for you. Good job. Good job, number one. All righty. Now let's move on to team two here, the kids from Hudson High School. Hudson students can participate in two unique interdisciplinary programs as well as a range of sports programs, visual and performing arts, or academic-based organizations. For your questions, we go to Alex. One, three, or four? Uh, three. Three. Let's keep in mind these questions are just for you. Gentlemen, you ready? Here we go. As soon as I put my glasses on. Before John of Gaunt died, he ordered ten candles lit to signify his breaking of what ten biblical rules handed down by Moses? Commandments. The commandments is the correct answer. As secretary to the admiralty, Samuel Pepys wrote lots of shipping reports, but he's best known for what sort of personal journal, such as that kept by Anne Frank? Diary. Diary is the correct answer. Cattle bellow and move their feet wider apart when they sense the approach of what seismic event measured on the Richter scale? Earthquake. Earthquake is the correct answer. Now for your science question, take a look at the monitor. Which of these terms refers to a substance which is capable of acting as an acid or a base? Amorphous. Amphoteric is what we're looking for there. Sorry, gentlemen. Not long after World War I was over, Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson's hopes were over for the U.S. joining what peacekeeping organization, the forerunner of the U.N.? League of Nations. League of Nations is the correct answer. In 1865, after reading what he considered the man's immoral poetry, the Secretary of the Interior fired what clerk who had written Leaves of Grass? Answer? Walt Whitman is what we're looking for there. For your math question, take a look at the monitor. This expression equals what integer? Three. Three is the correct answer. In 1841, only one month after his inauguration, what ninth president became the first chief executive to die in office? Answer? No answer. William Henry Harrison, good job. Hudson? All right, our final team today is from Lake. Lake offers a wide variety of classes that include several AP and college credit courses as well as extracurricular activities that enhance student learning. We go to Jason now from Perry to select your questions. One or four? Four. Four. Okay, let's keep in mind these questions are only for you. Set? Here we go. If you missed being counted in the 2010 census, you can look forward to being included during the next national census in what year? 2020. 2020 is the correct answer. The hognose snake sometimes takes on a hooded appearance, similar to that of what poisonous snake, whose king variety is native to India? Cobra. Cobra is the correct answer. It seems ironic that the island known as Greenland was discovered and colonized by what Viking called the Red? Eric. Eric. Eric the Red is the correct answer. Now for your science question, take a look at the monitor. The highest pH would be shown by what? By a normal solution of which of these? Sulfuric. Sodium hydroxide is the answer there. During the Civil War, the Union Navy pursued a Confederate ship all the way to what huge rock monolith at the entrance of the Mediterranean Sea? Gibraltar. Gibraltar is the right answer. What war-torn Central Asian country is the setting for Khaled Hosseini's best-selling novel, The Kite Runner? 
Afghanistan. Afghanistan is the correct answer. For your math question, take a look at the monitor. What is the distance between these two points? Answer? Eight. Eight is the correct answer. The United States acquired palm trees and alligators in 1819 when we purchased Florida during the administration of what fifth president? Answer? Monroe. James Monroe is the correct answer, and that's the end of our round. We'll be back with more questions and more answers right after this. to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we begin our next round, we're going to recap the scores so far. Hudson comes in right now in third place with 220 points. With 240 points, Perry. And leading the way right now at least with 300 points, Uniontown Lake. But anything can happen now. Now it's time for the picture perfect round. Each correct answer here is worth 10 points, but a wrong answer or no answer, that'll cost you 10 points. All three teams play in this round, so hands on the buzzer. Eyes on the monitor. All set? Here we go. In this medieval view of Paris, you see swans swimming in what river that divides the city? Lake. The Rhine. The Seine is what we're looking for. It's the Seine. This early Mondrian painting has what same one word name as the title of a science fiction novel by Frank Herbert? Answer? Dune is the answer here. Playwright Anton Chekhov was the grandson of what kind of slave-like Russian peasant who were freed in 1861 Hudson? Surf. Surf is the correct answer. What is the area of this trapezoid if the altitude is Perry? 36. 36 is the correct answer. This gold pendant was the work of an ancient artist from the Minoan civilization that flourished on what largest Greek island? Lake. Crete. Crete is the correct answer. This is a one pound nugget of what silver white metal whose chemical symbol is PT? Harry. Platinum. Platinum is correct. This is Dufy's painting of a beach resort in what French province that was the site of the World War II D-Day invasion? Perry. Normandy. Normandy is the correct answer. And this is an 1819 illustration of what classic fairy tale about a young brother and sister who discovered Lake. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel is the correct answer, and that is the end of our round. But we will be right back with more Nordson Academic Challenge right after this. Good job. Time now to welcome the team advisors from Hudson. It's Jacqueline Dukes from Lake, Grant Laverick and Ken Wolf are here today, and from Perry, Stephen Pritchett. Thank you all so much for being here today, and thanks for what you do for our kids. Okay, now it's time for our Mix It Up round. One at a time, I'll ask each team six questions, a correct response worth 20 points with, a, with no penalty for a wrong answer, and any team answering all six questions in this round correctly will receive 25 bonus points. First up, Perry. Ready to roll? Okay, here we go. You'll have an advantage here if you can find the hidden name of what heavy metallic element whose symbol is PB. Lead. Lead is the correct answer. Someone who is courageous can best be described by which of these adjectives? Intrepid. Intrepid is the correct answer. Combine the chemical symbols for these elements and you'll name what mythical titan condemned to hold up the heavens on his shoulders? Atlas. Atlas is correct. You will be in with 20 points if you fill in the blanks to get what last name of Bilbo in The Hobbit? Baggins. Baggins is correct. You can up your score if you rearrange these letters to name what material that the ancient Egyptians used instead of paper or parchment? Papyrus. Papyrus is the correct answer. Big question here for, for the big uh, bonus points. If you visit Philadelphia, you can read these words on what treasured American symbol that unfortunately cracked in 1835. Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell and the bonus points. 
Nice job, Perry. Okay. Up next, the team from Hudson. Ready to roll? Okay, here we go. Your questions begin here. You won't have to worry about a bad bite if you can find here the hidden name of what capital city of Delaware? Dover. Dover is the correct answer. A person who is gregarious likes to surround himself with which of these? People. People is the correct answer. Combine the chemical symbols for these three elements and you'll spell the name of what tiny European principality located on the Mediterranean? Monaco. Monaco is the correct answer. Place the same metallic element before both these words to name a Hawaiian triathlon and the age that followed stone and bronze. Iron. Iron is the correct answer. Rearrange the letters in this anagram and you will name what medieval pseudoscience whose practitioners tried to turn base metals into gold. Alchemy. That is the correct answer. And here we go for the bonus points. With this, with this curt comment, a Roman emperor refused to pay tribute to what 5th century king of the Huns? Attila. Attila is the correct answer for the bonus points. Nicely done, Hudson. Okay, and that takes us to the team from Lake. These questions just for you. Ready to roll? Here we go. Take a good look at this phrase and see if you can find the name of what legendary Roman, the brother of Romulus? Remus. Remus is correct. If you were in a quandary, you would be in which of these? Dilemma. Dilemma is the correct answer. If you combine the symbols of these three elements, you can find the name of what Caribbean island? Aruba. Aruba, the correct answer. You can turn this elk and wolf into dogs. If you place in the blanks what same word that is linked to the Baskervilles in the title of a Sherlock Holmes story? Hound. Hound is correct. Rearrange the letters in this anagram and you will find the name of what software company founded by Bill Gates? Microsoft. Microsoft is correct. And again, here we go. This question for the bonus points. This was the self-deprecating description of what inventor whose patents would include the movie camera and the incandescent light bulb? Edison. Edison. Edison is the correct answer, and you get the bonus points as well. That was a heck of a round, and it's the end of our round. We will be back with our final and deciding grab bag round. That's coming up right after this. For complete information about everything academic, visit us online at news5cleveland.com slash academic challenge. And we welcome you back to the Nordson Academic Challenge. Before we continue, we recap the scores here. In third place right now with 375 points, Hudson. In second place with 415 points, Massel and Perry. And leading the way right now with 455 points, Uniontown Lake. But now it's time for the grab bag round. In this free for all, each correct answer is worth 20 points, but a team loses 20 points for a wrong answer or no answer. We also have some visual questions. Those are worth 30 points. Be careful here because an incorrect answer will cost you 30 points. Again, this is for all three teams and the scores are tight enough. Anything can happen in this round. Everybody ready? Here we go. Some Alaskan duck hunters recently discovered the intact tusk of what woolly prehistoric Perry? Woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoth is correct. During the Mexican-American War, Henry Clay lost his oldest son at what battle? Perry. C Custer's last stand. Buena Vista is what we're looking for there. The Library of Congress hit a home run when it received the collected papers of what baseball player, the first African-American Perry? Babe Ruth. Jackie Robinson is what we're looking for there. On the monitor here, this artwork is part of the legacy of what seafaring people who founded the ancient city of Carthage. Founders of Carthage. Looking for Phoenicians there. The meters were running at the Battle of the Marne in World War I when French troops rode from Paris to the battle site in what sort of hired lake? Taxi. Taxi is correct. How many degrees are there in an angle which is one half its complement? Perry. 45. 
30 degrees is what we're looking for there. In 1987, biologists identified a new species of what snake-fighting animal, su such as the fictional Ricky Tiki Tavi. Lakes. Mongoose. Mongoose is correct. On the monitor now, rearrange the letters here to name what English economist who argued that population increases. Yeah. Perry. Mathis. Mathis is correct. In 1918, the Allies crashed through a German defense line named for what general? who later named the Zeppelin that burst into flames and crashed in New Jersey. Hudson. Heisenberg. Hindenburg is what we're looking for there. Choice here, light travels in distinct packets of energy called photons. Lake. Photons. Photons is correct. Where the past begins is the recently published memoir of what author of the Joy Luck Club? Author of the Joy Luck Club, Amy Tan. On the monitor now, you're looking at the tombstone of Homer Plessy, whose name is linked to that of what other man? Lake. Ferguson. Ferguson is correct. People protesting unfair laws might refer to them with what word American colonists use to describe the harsh acts the British imposed in 17 Perry. Intolerable. Intolerable. Intolerable is the correct answer. The concert master of a symphony orchestra is a musician who almost always plays what? Perry. Violin. Violin is the correct answer because much of their food consisted. And that's our final buzzer. Let's take a look at our final scores right now. In third place with 355 points, Hudson. In second place with 445 points, Massillon Perry. And winning tonight's academic challenge from Uniontown Lake with 545 points. Congratulations. And you be sure to join us next time. We will feature teams from Bedford, Marion Steele, and Midview. Can't wait for that one. I'm Rob Powers. We will see you soon for another Nordson Academic Challenge. This has been the Nordson Academic Challenge.